So you want an upper chest workout you could do right at home using kettlebells and bands. I'm gonna show you how to torch your upper chest using this setup. But make sure you stay until the end of the video where I'll give you my biggest secret to making that upper chest really pop. I'm Dr. Ram, physician, bodybuilder, and founder and head coach at Ram Wellness, where we help busy professionals just like you upgrade how you feel, look, and perform for life. But hey, you're here to find out how to get the best upper chest workout at home with kettlebells and bands, so let's get right to it. All right, guys, so we're starting here with the setup. So obviously what you're going to need are two kettlebells and one resistance band, preferably one that has these carabiners attached to the end because that's going to help us attach eventually attach the resistance band to the kettlebells in addition we're going to need a bench because we're going to be you doing an incline press so that's going to be really hard to do if we don't have the support of a bench and a flat bench is just not going to work for this exercise so you do need an adjustable bench for this all right so this is how we're going to adjust the bench. Basically, we need it at a 45 degree angle because that's going to allow us to hit our upper chest. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the back of it using that lever arm to 45 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees and this is the horizon, about halfway between the two is going to be 45 degrees. So we're just going to estimate it doesn't have to be perfect. But yeah, we want it to be at a 45 degree angle to really target the upper chest. And in this machine, the way we do that is by setting this arm into the appropriate ridge to help us achieve that angle. So another adjustment that we can make if your equipment allows you is to adjust the bottom of the seat so that we can get more support while we're sitting and we're not, we don't end up sliding out of the bench. So this is what it looks like once it's adjusted. Basically, all you've, I've done is incline the bottom of the seat, and this is going to give us more support under our butt when we are pressing so that we don't slide downwards. So what we're going to do now is get the resistance bands set up. And the way we're going to do this is first we're going to put the kettlebells on either side of the bench where we're sitting. And we want to place them right about where the crease is. The reason for that is we don't want it to be too far back or too far forward so that when we go to pick it up off the ground, we don't have a hard time getting up and, you know, ripping our end up ripping our shoulders off. So what we're going to do now, we're, go we're going to attach the resistance bands. So what we've done is we've threaded the resistance bands through the front of the handle and out through the back around the side and hooked it to itself with the carabiner. And this is important the way that we do it as we'll soon see in the next clip. So we've fished the resistance band now uh, through the kettlebell and under the bench. And this is very important because we're gonna be using the bench to anchor the resistance band so it doesn't snap up and hit us and so that we can create that extra resistance during the exercise. And the way we've done this is again, we fish that resistance band through the front of the kettlebell around back and hooked it to the uh, to, hook to itself using the carabiner and done the same thing here. As you can see, it's going from the front to the back. And the reason this is important is because if you have it done the other way or uh, let's say on this side where you just have it uh, front to back here, but then on the other side you have it back to front, it's kind of going to create a little bit of resistance when you go to press up to the top because the resistance band is going to be pulling towards the front here and then pulling towards the back on the other side, depending on how you set it up. So basically, all you need to know is that you need it to be set up the same way on both sides. All right, so now we're going to dive right into the workout and you're going to see I'm going to take my time and I'm going to lift the kettlebells up and get them into place. Now, technique is everything. So let's start with the floor and work our way up. That's how we're gonna do this for every single exercise. We go from the floor up. And the floor, we do this because the floor is where we generate power and stability. So the first thing we need is our feet in contact with the floor. And as you can see, I have my toes about in line, if not slightly behind my knee. And what this allows me to do is to use my legs 
to stabilize me. If you get into this position, you're in a super arched position, and by putting my legs behind me, I can kind of drive my legs into the ground, uh, which gives me a lot of stability and a lot of power. And then working my way up, I make sure that my butt is evenly touching the seat on both sides, perfectly balanced. And then you could see there's an arch in my back and then my chest is really up and out. So you're gonna see this from a different angle as we keep working our way up uh, from the ground to our hands where they're contacting the kettlebells. So again, we've gone up in weight here, we've increased the resistance bands, but the form stays the same. And we get into position, again, our feet are flat on the ground. Uh, I don't want you to follow what I'm doing here where just my toes are in contact. I prefer if your entire foot was in contact, contact with the ground. So here, again, we have our chest up, our shoulder blades, blades are squeezed back and together. So that gives us lots of stability and helps us uh, protect our shoulders while we're doing this. So our head is back, our head is neutral. And as you can see by my cheeks, I'm breathing and I'm bracing while I'm doing the exercise so that I can maintain as much stability as possible. And the way I do this is I breathe deeply into my belly and I hold my breath as I press the air up. And while I do this, it's gonna make my upper body really, really, really tight, really, really, really rigid. So I get a lot of stability. And in the last clip here, you'll be seeing it from a different angle. And basically the last thing I wanna go over here is the tempo, basically how long we're taking to press the weight and how long we're taking to lower the weight. And this is really important because it's going to help you maintain really good form and maintain a lot of tension in the chest where you want it in the upper pecs. So what you see here is I'm going all the way down, getting a deep stretch at the bottom and I'm pressing straight up towards the ceiling. It's going to get a lot harder as you press towards the ceiling because of those resistance bands. So I'm lowering for a count of maybe two to three seconds, and then I'm pausing at the bottom, and then I'm pressing straight up, squeezing hard as I can at the top. Here's the big secret when it comes to building your upper chest, and that is you want to imagine trying to put your, your upper arms together. So the way you're gonna do this is you're going to roll your shoulders forward and elevate them. And basically what I'm showing you here is that you're trying to get your arms together like this to touch because what that does is if you see my chest in this little um, uh, video here is that gets you to squeeze your upper chest together. And you could see me really do that at the top, especially from this angle. I'm getting my arms up and together and you'll see me pause for about a second where I'm really trying to bring my upper arms together. Now, obviously they can't touch because my chest and my body's in the way, but I'm imagining that I'm trying to touch my biceps together. And that's going to force me to squeeze the upper part of my chest. So it kind of forms this shelf at the top. All you want to do is you want to squeeze super hard at the top. So get your form right from the floor up. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope you guys learned a lot on how to get a great upper chest workout at home using kettlebells and bands. I had a great time putting this video together for you guys. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button down below because then you'll tell YouTube that you want other people to see this video. And remember to hit the subscribe button because I'll be posting videos like this and other workout tutorials, nutrition tips, and videos on how to get your mindset right every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And always remember, aim for exceptional. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.